Tracy. Oh, chill away today. Yeah, sick day. I'm I'm camping. No, oh, it's a shame. So, how was your weekend? Well, you know Easter. Chocolate, are you? No, I'm allergic. Oh, you must stay so slim. Yeah, you'd think, wouldn't you? But I, I made an Easter egg destroy an Aether because I figured if, if I can't have them, nobody should have them, right? Wish you confiscated mine. Well, I would have, but Perry the Platypus came over. There was this big hullabaloo, and I ended up eating like 3,000 eggs involuntarily. Some of them weren't even chocolate. You bugger. So I'm in the ambulance, and they swerve to avoid some kids with a giant jump roving robot. I don't even know what that's about. We run into a pottery class. I get covered in ceramic. Spend the rest of the weekend in the park as a statue getting pooped on by pigeons. Classic Saturday night. Yeah, but this was Sunday. So when's Jill coming back? I don't know. She was in the pottery class. She got hit by a vase. Morning, Jill. Morning, Tracy. How's your fundraising been going? Oh, we haven't stopped. Did a bath of baked beans on Monday. Did you? Only had one tin in the cupboard, though, so it was more of a paddle. You're so brave. Cake sale Tuesday. Sell anything? No. Everyone's being good this week. Oh, well, I'm starting next week. Wednesday, I recorded a charity single. Oh, can I buy a copy? I don't know how to get it off my voice notes. Gosh, you're working hard. I know. Even organised a fancy dress competition for the office. What happened? I only sent the email to Mark. Meanwhile, Carol's just trying to get us to sponsor her for three marathons. She likes running. I know. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll do a sponsored bottle of wine. You bugger. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing a sponsored silence. Oh, no. Oh, this is usually a male-dominated class. But don't worry, there will be plenty of regressions for all of the exercises. No, mind if I jump in and do some pull-ups while you like? Do your thing. I'm doing pull-ups. Excuse me, miss, you're doing that wrong. What about him? Nah, he's good. We not want to bother him. Come on, lads! <laughs> Carl's after in you! Um... Hello? Oh my god! You're doing that wrong. You're doing that wrong. You're doing that wrong. Oh, you need me to put those weights back for you? No. I'm pretty sure I just lifted it 40 times above my head. Wow, look at you go! I couldn't even do that. Try going lower. Oh, I actually have a medical. Oh, no. Doesn't care. Using that weight. Yeah. Ooh, what did you ever do to you? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, that's heavy. Wouldn't expect someone like you to be lifting something like that. You know, you'd lose more weight on the cross trainer. That's it. Keep going, lovely. You can do it. Morning, Jill. Morning, Tracy. Got any plans for Valentine's Day? I think you mean Galentine's Day. Oh, you got friends coming over. Just carry Samantha, Charlotte and Miranda. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> I've decided I don't need a man this year. Good for you. I'm just going to raid the reduced section and treat myself. Oh, it's all about that self-love. I'll probably just grab some two for one mini Prosecco's. <laughs> Emphasis on the one. <gasps> You're so bad. Then I'm going to binge Bridget Jones with some Ben and Jerry's in a heart-shaped chocolate box. You're just not like other girls. I know. I'm a strong, independent woman, Trace. I don't need the evening to be about anyone but myself until that clock strikes ten. Then what? Then I'll just DM whoever will reply. Oh, Mark's an insomniac. Perfect. Huh? How about you? Oh, I'm just having a cosy night in with Harry. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm. The dog. Yeah. What are your career goals? Yes, I'm up. Hold it back. Hey, we can't tell the truth. They'll think we're naive. Or arrogant. Or crazy. If we say what we want now, we'll jinx it. And then they'll know that we failed. That's if we don't die first. She has a point. We have to consider death as a factor. Death is always a factor. What? Why have so much to achieve first? We want to come across realistic, but serious. But not too serious. I once heard about a girl who revealed she was ambitious. What happened? They drowned her for being a witch. We're all going to die! Did 
Give me some time to do some sums. Do we want children? We know what we want. We want to be on TV. She jinxed again. One day write a sitcom. We're not good enough. And have a stand-up special or tour under our own name. Witch, witch, witch. Guys, chill. I got this. I just want to work somewhere where I'm really passionate about the products we're selling. And that's coffee. Wait, this was for a cafe job? Why am I even here? Hey there, welcome to New Year New You. What can I get for you? Hiya, uh, can I get a successful, healthy fitness fanatic with good world views, a boyfriend and a pair of Gymshark leggings, please? Ooh, we're all sold out of that one. Can I interest you in any of our other packages? Oh, okay. Uh... I'll take a woke sober vegan with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Yeah, sure. Just to let you know, that does come with virtue signaling. Is that okay? Oh, no, no. Okay. Um, someone with financial security and a good job? Sorry, that's not available to anyone your age. What about someone who just cries less? That one's not available this year, I'm afraid. Can I just cut carbs then? Only if you want to cut friends. How about a Instagram influencer with literally any sponsorship deal? That's actually been our most popular order this year. Really? Does that mean it's available? No, no one actually knows how to achieve that. Uh, I'll just take the doesn't rely on other people for validation package then. I thought you wanted to be an Instagram influencer. I didn't say it made sense. I'll just take the boyfriend. Sure thing. That'll just cost you your value standards and self-respect. Oh my God, forget it. I'll try again next year. Morning, Jill. Morning, Tracy. How was your Christmas? Good, you? Look lovely on your Instagram. Oh yeah, I really outdid myself this year. Did you? Yeah, I was crying by 10am. <gasps> you bugger. I had to start though, I was up at four. Prepping the turkey? No, just psyching myself up. Get anything you asked for? No. But I did get a bath bomb the same colour as the laptop I wanted. Oh, and Nan brought some slurs. They're great. No, racial. Oh, that's nice of her. Then mum kept asking about Jonathan. Thought you broke up six years ago. But it meant I ended the day drunk, bloated and stalking his new girlfriend on Facebook. That'll do it. Honestly, nearly stuck my head in the oven. Did you? No. No point, it was broken. What a day. How was yours? Pretty uneventful. Michael nearly died. Allergies. Insulted my roasties. Oh. Can't wait for next year though. Oh yeah, I love Christmas. Oh my god, you look adorable. You're tacky and I hate you. Why are all these people in my house? Oh my god. Wasn't me. Yes. I didn't call you. Yes, you did. Now where's the turkey? Four-year-old Abby has never had much luck with love, but she's hoping this time she's found the one. He's everything I'd hoped for. Hot, Italian, actually leaves me satisfied. I can't believe we met on an app, though I was surprised to see someone like him on there. He was just so beefy and peppery and oniony. Oh. I was so nervous at first, but we hit it off immediately. He even stayed the night. I was worried about him seeing me first thing in the morning, thought he'd go cold on me. But it was fine after a few minutes in the oven. Got a bit steamy, didn't it, babes? <laughs> Stop it, honestly. He's perfect. He even lets me see a side guy every now and then. Usually wedges or garlic pizza bread. I'd happily become Mrs. Inno's tomorrow. Though I've told Dom, no chicken strippers at the stag do. <laughs> Morning Jill! Morning Tracy! How are you? I'm good, you? Good, you? Good, you? Good, you? Morning Carol, how are you? I'm good, you? We're good, you? Yeah, I just said I'm good, you? She's good, you? I'm good, you? I'm good, you? Morning Mark, how are you? Don't Mark, it's a trap. I'm good, you? Oh shit. Good, you? Good, you? Good, you? Good, you? Morning Debbie, how are you? Well, I'm really struggling, actually. 
the divorce with Mark has been tough. I don't get to see the kids as often as I'd like. This job doesn't pay enough and I dropped the fish tank this morning. The most important thing about Christmas, this year especially, is just to spend it with the one you love. Your cat. Do you want to tell them how we met or shall I? He's not much of a talker. This one's mum's coming this year though, and our families have very different ways of doing Christmas. Like I'm used to opening the presents on Christmas morning, and they're used to pissing on them. She's very passive aggressive about how I decorate the house, always accidentally knocking baubles off the tree. <laughs> so we exchanged a few early Christmas gifts this year, just us two. I got him a personalised mouse mat, and he got me one too. <laughs> but at the end of the day, all I'm looking forward to is just snuggling up with a hot cocoa, just us two. And who knows? <laughs> Maybe there'll be a ring. <laughs> no, it's just vomit. I think we've missed quite a crucial character from Ratatouille the Musical, so here is my audition to play Crazy Old Lady with a gun. Ah! Where's my gun? Where's my gun? There's some ratties on the gun, but they won't. I'm so slow and those little ratties know I've got a gun. She's got a gun, so Down. Have you considered taking her food up out of reach? Who are you talking to? So what's the issue? I'm struggling to take my meds. Have you tried putting it in cubes of cheese? How do you think I gained the weight? Let's have a look at your teeth. Is that relevant? Would you like me to cut your nails? Oh, no. I can't help notice you've got a bit of a wound on your leg. Oh, that's nothing. I just picked at it. I'm getting a new doctor. Here we go. I want quick high knees low self-esteem don't be a failure all right you bunch of wet wipes what are your excuses this week i've got asthma your lungs are lazy next my stomach hurts my failed marriage hurts get over it i've broken my arm you don't run on your arm sir the doctor says i only have three weeks to live and three weeks of cross country run how about you susan better be good I've got my period. What? No. I don't want to know. Sir, she's been on her period for the last five weeks. God, stop saying it. You only get it once a month. Stop talking about it. And it doesn't stop us from running. No, get out of here, Susan, quick. Is she gone? God, oh, thank God. How long till next period? Ah! Morning, Jill. Morning, Tracy. What did you get up to this weekend? Oh, I had a lovely little breakdown. Did you? I did. Yeah, really treated myself. I felt on the brink all week, so I decided to stalk my ex just to push myself over the edge. Jonathan, that's the one. Oh, he's got a gorgeous new girlfriend. I know. Nice. And he's just landed himself his dream job. Oh, and you're here ideal but that only had me tearing up so i pushed it a little bit further tried on a dress from five years ago <gasps> you bugger and then i grabbed a bottle of wine box mcvitties whacked on the news accidentally opened up my phone on selfie mode and mwah, 
sobbing. Oh, that sounds good. It felt amazing. There's nothing like a good cry. You must have felt reborn. Oh, it certainly felt like I was being birthed by that dress afterwards. Hmm. Mm. How about you? Oh, I just saw some family. Oh. Oh, so massive breakdown. Huge. Morning, Chris. <laughs> Morning, Sue. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> She's in mourning. Oh my God, are you okay? No, sorry, of course you're not. It just feels like there's this gaping hole in my life. Should you really be at work? It's good to keep myself busy. I don't know what else I'd do. If you ever need anything, I'm just at the end of the phone. Sometimes I forget. Just for a moment, you know. And then I remember all over again. I can't. I'm so sorry. I just wish I could find a replacement. Oh, well... I wouldn't rush into anything. I just sit there aimlessly scrolling, but nothing compares. Wait, what? She just finished binging Parks and Rec. Sometimes I dream of Ron. Not always in a sexual way, but he's in a better place now. The Watch It Again section. <laughs> Hang on, no one's actually died. A piece of me has died, Helen. Hiya, have you booked? What? No, please, I'm losing a lot of blood. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're only taking bookings at the moment. This is an emergency. Uh, I have some spaces available tomorrow lunchtime. Tomorrow? I need to see a doctor now. How many of you are there? What? How many of you will be joining us? It's just me. Can I take a name and contact number? I'm not coming back tomorrow. Would sometime next week work better for you? Not at this rate, no. I'm sorry, miss, but you haven't booked. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't plan to have a madman chop off my arm today. Hello. Hi. Excuse me. Yes, uh, I rang ahead. I believe I have an appointment. A woman punched me in the face when I tried to attack her with an axe. I think I have a broken nose. Davies? Yes, that's me. Yes, of course, sir. Right this way. Are you kidding me? Alison, could you come to reception? <laughs> Hiya, have you booked? 